Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you so Ask me, they want your life here and shit. Me versus Bear, I think that bear bitch. Rule one stamp the shit. He gotta stay here if he ain't airing shit. Still get a badge, every team roll serious. Vanguard, he watched the whip, no war zone experience. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead. They got my guy with me. Showtime, that's Peter, nobody that knows bodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grip tight ratchets. Mm -hmm. Midnight Madness. Mm -hmm. Big T versus Luke Castro drops. Um, you know, it's a, it, actually three of them joints came out so far. Mm -hmm. Snake Eyes versus None None. Yep. Uh, J2 versus Bad News. Mm -hmm. And now you got Luke Castro versus Big T. Right. You know, uh, Luke Castro, he needed a battle. To kind of like sh re show. I'm not saying, like, since the Arsenal performance, to me, this is my personal opinion, mm -hmm. uh, since the Arsenal performance, he's had like a couple battles since then, and to me, he hadn't surpassed the Arsenal performance. Or, it, like, when, I'm gonna just put it like this. When he had that battle with Arsenal, it was like, damn, he's on Summer Madness. Yeah. Like, the door could be opening up. What's next? Mm -hmm. And then he had the Romney battle. I didn't feel like he won that. And you know what I'm saying? And then he had the A-War battle, he didn't win that. You know what I'm saying? He had went on like, then he had the Romney battle, I didn't feel like, it was like a, a couple battles in a row. You yeah. see what I'm saying? He had the, after the one round with A-War, he had... Um, A-War was three rounds, actually. I mean, yeah, after he had the three rounds with A-War, he then battled again after the traffic car. He battled on the car that was after that. Didn't he battle on Super Fight? Probably so. Pretty sure he did. Um, but needless to say, yeah. I'm, no, no, no. I'm Let's get it. I want to get it right. I want to get it right. I want to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal, mm -hmm. and he had A Ward, and then he had uh, the Rum Nitty battle too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it was like a couple battles that he had all in succession, and niggas was like, yo, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with Lou? Like, right. is, he, is he rising? What is, what's going on? Because you had other people that was with him in the same kind of class structure, per se. Mm -hmm. You had uh, Easy the Black Captain doing what Easy the Black Captain does, you know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't need to be explained. Mm -hmm. uh, real Sick doing Real Sick. And from an entertainment perspective, like, Luke Castro is very exciting, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got the moves, he got the talk, he got the A-Big Dog, you know, that he had the two-on-two and mm -hmm. shit. So, like, he's elevating and he's, he's continuing to make moves, but after the Arsenal shit, it was I, I kind of thought he was out of here. Then he had a drugs battle too, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he got 30 than that, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah. I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes- I knew it was a battle, he battled in the 30s for 30s for 30s yeah. keep happening. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. I forget mm -hmm. this shit. Yeah, I, it was coming. It, was, it, it just- My well, nigga was getting 30, <laughs> so- Keep it going. I'm I, I gonna keep it going. Please keep so it. he had got 30 in a couple joints, you know what I'm saying? He got 30 by drugs. You got 30 by A Ward, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rum Nitty, damn near 32. And it was like, yo, like, what are we doing here? Like, is Luke, what Luke Castro needs to, to get in his bag. Mm -hmm. He battles Big T. Um, I, 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 what you got? How about you? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Was like, what so, you got, man? So, <laughs> You're right. Brilliant. As far as Luke Castro's career has been, uh, been came into play, it seems like. That's the that's the one that they URL has been putting the ball. You know they've been giving him the ball and letting him run with it. Correct. And they've been putting him through that gauntlet that mm -hmm. we said certain other battlers need to already be you know it mm -hmm. or going through, and that's going to be that thing this year. So that's why Luke Castro is already in that. But within that, he's been through some tur he's been through some turbulence when it comes to battles. Mm -hmm. And now you know for the fact that you know money was on the line. Mm -hmm. The fact that, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of notoriety was there, you got your team behind you, it was a lot of things mm -hmm. that was on the line for Lou and for him to show up the way he did, mm -hmm. he was supposed to get that back. Right. Money on the floor, as far as performance wise, we can get into that, but the reason being is because he's been, I don't, I think he's been getting either fatigued or... I'm not getting tired of him, but I believe I'm starting to get that rum nitty feel from Luke Castro, where it's like, it's not enough, but it's working if you win. 
Mm-hmm. But if you if it, it's beatable, mm-hmm. it's beatable, and that's where it's different from you know from Rum Nitty. But I'm saying it's beatable sometimes for Lou because sometimes he can go up and down. Right. Big T. Big T's a legend. Let's not let's you know let's not act like that. You know one of the top five favorite battles of all time is going to be him versus Surf. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm just throwing that out there. But Big T um, has been in his ups and downs. Uh, I really like his freestyles that he be dropping on Twitter. Them joints is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but where Big T comes into play in these battles, he battled uh, recently on the uh, on the band joint, Bubble Baby, and he didn't Thanks do too me. good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you know, called him a Bubble Baby, and I can't really remember anything else Big T was saying in that. But in this battle, which happened a week prior, mm-hmm. in this one we can understand where Big T's flow and the, the, the jumping around. It was a different Big T for me. Mm-hmm. I liked Big T in this battle. Mm-hmm. But there, there was a winner, and I'm not here to argue who the winner is. Mm. Do you think that the money went to the right person? Is the question. I do. All right. I do. Cool. I do. There's no need to debate that. I do. Um, I felt like, and I feel like, mm-hmm. uh, Lou Castro was having the bigger individual moments in life. The first round, like I like. Some of the shit that Big T was saying, mm-hmm. and like you know, with the with the how not the Honolulu bar was fire, and yeah. he had some other pockets of flows that was cool. But to me, Lou Castro, like it felt like once Lou Castro had the ball in this battle, mm-hmm. I don't feel like he ever like lost it. You know what I'm saying? Like he had some really powerful punches in there. He had the line, you know, uh, the fucking uh, my my uh, world in the fight. You see the bitch in Big T like my girl spent the night. That, that was ball fire. was crazy. I like the ca- uh, uh, the uh, how the couch get outside. Yeah, the friends watching friends like shit like that. It just felt like he just was in total control right. of the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and while Big T did have some sprinkle moments here and there, mm-hmm. I didn't feel like, and even when he got like his biggest, some of the bigger moments in his first round, mm-hmm. I didn't feel like after the first round was over that Luke Castro like lost a round. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, that was cool. But this, okay, that was straight. But this, mm. okay, that was. How'd you? So, how'd you call it though? I got Big T in the first round. Okay. I had Big T in the first round. I like Big T's material. Mm-hmm. Even though some, the way that he punches, some of his punches ain't as hard or as impactful because it's how it's being delivered. Mm-hmm. I just feel like the way that it's the the way he flows in it. A lot of the Midwest guys do that, where it's not that it is the bar, but it's how we got up to the bar. Big T builds the house very well. That's how I like it. In the material wise, I like Big T in the first because mm-hmm. the Lou, the, the you know any Lou flips is, is fire. And the Lou out, you know that was coming. But those type of things were going to come in the first round. But from the yes, from the second and the third round, yes, I feel like Lou Castro was coasting. Here's the main reason why I even am saying this. It was Big T's battle to lose after the second. Because mm. Big T, he stumbled. And the thing about Lou is, he, he, yeah, he, all right, he'll mess up. But, like, he, he rare, it's, it's, it's sprinkles of him messing up. He but he mentioned that. that, like, I'm my own worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't lose. He was saying, like, you, know, saying you don't lose that. battles that, you know, you know all the shit that a lot of people be saying. Oh, if yeah. I don't fuck up, I don't lose the battle, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But um, I feel like Big T, but because Big T stumbled in the second, that automatically now changed my view to Lou. Like, all right, well, Lou was kind of straight in the first two, so you know it, it gives you that type of look. Where it's like, all right, I can see where somebody say Big T didn't get a round, but I preferred Big T in the first round. Please I don't. did. If, if, any, <laughs> if any round, I definitely was the. That was probably the one yeah. that I was like, okay, this one round. Can kind of go either way, mm-hmm. but then the second and third, it was like I had Lou. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not because I'm from the Bronx. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, uh, no, I don't see the bias in that one. <laughs> nah, I, I mean, like nah, I said, nah, nah. but you could also understand too. And I know there wasn't like a clause, and there wasn't anything in in, in the contracts or whatever. But Lou definitely went over time. Either either Lou went over time, or yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, Big T did. didn't have enough time because well, his third was wild short. Well, wild short. The thing is, they the thing is, when it comes to these battles, like let's be for real, who's stopping them? There ain't nobody standing. Ain't nobody. Who stop? Like if you're a bat, if you're a league owner, mm-hmm. right? You're paying for a premium, which is the artist to rap. Mm-hmm. 
if the artist is rapping and they're and, and they're cooking, yeah. you're going. getting what you paid for. Right. So I'm not gonna stop nobody like, yo, time. Like, nah, that's just not it's rarely gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? True, but there are instances where rounds are they should have been ended. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So but I I'm with you. But yeah, no. Um, you know, to, to, to keep it all in, so you got Luke Castro 2-1. Yes, I mean, two, two, you got one, him 3-0. 3-0, 2-1. Okay, clear win. I'm just saying clear win. I got him a clear win as well. Now, should I ask the question or should I just make the statement? Either or, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you the question. Do you think that what he brought to Big T, what Luke Castro brought to Big T, do you think he's going to be able to beat Charlie Clips with that? Uh, it all depends. I mean, I don't, I can't just say, like, from what I saw in that performance and what I saw in Charlie Clips versus B Dot recently and Charlie Clips versus Chess, he's, Charlie Clips to me is way too talented. So, like, you gotta give, you got, like, if he, if, if mm -hmm. Lou Castro has some of the bigger moments from his rounds. Like, you know what I'm saying? The bitch and boy, big T, like my girl spent the night. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If he has those type of punches, you know, because Luke Castro, to me, I never really peeped him as much of a punch. He's more entertaining, per se. You know what I'm saying? He's got a lot of performance bars and shit like that. It's funny you say And that. he's going to need a lot of that versus Charlie Clips because Charlie Clips can rebuttal. Charlie mm -hmm. Clips can freestyle. Charlie Clips can take the shit that you just did. He can use shit that you use against you. He can shank some. He's got, he's a very complete battle rapper. And when Charlie Clips is engaged, not when he's just there freestyling, which he did. He freestyled versus beat out for like two rounds. In the third rounds when he was like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He can zone in on mm -hmm. you. But uh, I don't think Luke Castro can't win, but it's more of a battle for Charlie Clips to win. You know what I'm saying? So mm. that's how I feel with that. You, on you, what's up? You you danced all the way around that. You JC'd all around that. You T top. That's my that's my opinion. Me, I feel you. Bro. The answer is no. Okay. No. Lou Castro can't beat Charlie Clips with that. Right. Lou Castro has to level up higher than that mm -hmm. in order to beat Charlie Clips because of all of the things that you did say. Right. The one thing that is very consistent with Lou Castro is that he is entertaining. Mm -hmm. He is electrified. When he feels as though that he's not getting the crowd, he can switch it up. The whole reason why he said tag me at me is because while he was rapping, Arsenal was just in his phone. He wasn't listening to him. He wasn't going, mm. he wasn't even looking for his raps. He, no, what you doing? Tag me, yeah. at me. Oh, now that's the electric part about it. That's this, now granted, that's a rebuttal, but it's not really a rebuttal because he didn't rhyme it. Mm -hmm. You got Charlie Clips who can do that. Mm -hmm. Who would literally be like, ah, you was look, you was look, uh, uh, you was writing your raps while, uh, while Arsenal, uh, you was rapping while Arsenal was in his phone. If, they, if you'd have did that to me, I'd have slapped it out your hand and said, leave him alone. Or yeah. something like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would have been something. I know that's whack. But I'm just saying, Charlie Clips is definitely going to be entertaining, more entertaining. And now, you also got to understand, too, that they both want to try to fight for that type of attention in that type of battle. Right. So I do believe that this battle is going to be electric because it's an entertainment factor. Mm -hmm. Both of them are funny. Both of them clearly can, can, you know, they can write. But is this it, the, the 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 big issue is is this gonna be funny or is this gonna be a uh, bad? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like where is gonna be the the aggression level? Mm -hmm. Number three and final statement. How do you call Charlie Clips versus Twerk? Uh, Twerk got the first. I had Charlie Clips to the second and third. Okay, now. Lou Castro does not sound like twerk. Lou Castro does not sound like twerk. Twerk. Twerkish. But in the same style, Charlie can just literally copy and paste and do the same thing. Uh, I, I remember those comparisons, but I don't draw to them too much now. I think yeah. uh, Lou Castro has carved his own niche. I, I, mean, said, I you don't sound like I did. I said it twice. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying like. I, I don't draw the, the comparison in the two. I mean, yeah, they roll together. Yeah, they, you know, they, they, and we're like, girl spent the night. I get it. Yeah. But overall, he's his own talent. 
But he's going to need more. He's going to need to to level up like he did versus Arsenal because it was like he went like this, this, leveled up versus ours. I'm expecting you to keep going, you know what I'm saying? Not have a battle like you did versus Drugs and not have a battle like you did right after that, you know what I'm saying? Like with the A-Ward. I know A-Ward wasn't on URL. If it ain't on URL, it don't count. Nigga, if I see it, it count. How about that? <laughs> yep. But I seen it. I, I, I seen it. Um, but uh, he, def he definitely did good because... To come off of Midnight Madness mm. into this battle, and this is what I want to say to uh, Lou Castro. Um, this is your opportunity right here to really set yourself apart, to really carve that niche in 2022. Because once you start getting the Charlie Clipses of the world, mm -hmm. the Rum Nitties of the world, mm -hmm. the John Johns of the world, the you know what I'm saying, that T Tops of the world, mm -hmm. like that second level, because they got a first level, like the bottom floor, where you just get like gatekeepers, survivor series talent, fucking people that they not really even rocking with like that. They yep. might throw a name at you that you be like, man, why is he battling him for? You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to nobody. You know what I'm saying? They'll fuck around, throw a danger zone or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's that's. They, you know what I'm saying? They'll throw something like that at you. You know what I mean? Whoa. Just to see, if, just to see where you at with it. Yeah. And then when you survive, like a be magic and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They'll throw those kind of names at you. Mm. And if you show that you could dance with those type of names, then they'll up the level of talent. You know what I'm saying? We'll get you in a shotgun shug. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Get at the gate. So a big T. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I, this. And then once you, once you leapfrog that. Then it's like, okay, we'll throw you a clips. That's like the, the intro level superstar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, you know, intro level legend. Like, this is the, the, the first legendary person you got. No, I like team. the superstar. So, I like the superstar. Um, At least gives you a jump. And if you show that you can survive versus Eclipse, that can take you to bigger things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, Easy has passed that level already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's passed the level of battles, but I'm saying he's shown that he could battle at the highest level versus the best competition and did it on Summer Madness, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. Luke Castro did it on Summer Madness too, but he has to also continue versus these names, you know what I'm saying? Because there are other MCs who have they put, yeah. this is like the breaking point where you either gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna crack that mold and become one of the, 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 the new main guys that they run through the gauntlet, mm. or you're just gonna like fizzle back. Another person that they tried to do it with, they tried to do it with Jerry West, mm. you know what I'm saying? They gave him some of the names, and while he didn't, Jerry West never got bodied bodied, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't got, I don't recall him getting bodied out of competition. Danny? He Danny. beat Danny. Danny was choking his stumble no, no, in that no, battle. No, no, no. Uh, not Danny, Arsenal. Yeah, Jay Arsenal beat him, but he, didn't but he got, they had him get body bodied, yeah, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. When you, but the thing is, when you get that level, and you don't body them, mm -hmm. or level up versus them, you survive. that's when, like, easy body wrecks. Easy had a battle with Danny that was very debatable. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like he won on the app. Easy won every battle he's had on the app. Yeah. When you get them names, you can't just come neck and neck with them. You gotta like show that you really, really belong, and you really gotta. Or you gotta make a mark. Fuck winning and losing. You have to have those memorable balls. Gotta be. You yeah. know when the coach got body after body. When the coach starts shaking, like you gotta have niggas talking about you. And that's the thing about the battle rap shit. If people not talking about you, people not recapping your battles, people not even trying to bootleg your battles, mm -hmm. if that's not happening and your shit is just coming, I think the last time we seen Jerry West was what, versus Loso? Yeah. That was a long ass time ago. That was back in fucking uh, May, April, May time frame. Yeah, it, it's been a while. You see what I'm saying? It's been a while. So, this, it's, for, this is what I'm saying about Luke Castro. This is your chance to level up. Yes. And to go to that next. Getting them T-tops, getting them DNAs, getting them... You know, he battled DNA right in the mm. store. Um, store legacy shit. Um, Chess? No. Who you talking about? Luke? I'm saying, yeah. Luke Castro. Yeah, yeah, like shit like that. Like, you Chess. can start leveling up and getting them names. Like, a, you might even slip a Tay Rock in there or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we, yeah. Like, I see what you're saying. John, so, John, you know, I like a John John the Don. Like a Tay Rock. Like, I, I could see him getting there. He's very entertaining. He's got to add... No. See the see the you order you beat Charlie Clips, it unlocks a door. You gotta beat yes, you have to you either beat, go upstairs yes. or or you no, you, you either take the elevator or the stairs. Okay. And usually the stairs is not the best option. Just big facts, big facts, big facts, big facts. Um but I, I look forward to seeing what he's got going on, man. It is what it is. Me too. 